Watch, we want to get to Beth Germano, who right now is in Braintree with the very latest. Well, Lisa, you can imagine, as Christina has been describing, what an incredibly nerve-wracking scene this is. People now desperate to get out of the mall. I will say about 20 minutes ago, this area in front of the mall was filled with cars. Right now, police are doing a good job moving people along. It is pretty empty now. And you talked about people walking out of the mall, leaving the mall. We did speak with a woman and her daughter just a few minutes ago. Their car is over in the parking garage. They say they'll never get to it, so they're just going to walk out and have some family members meet them. But they were in the Apple store. Where with about 60 other people when all this started happening, all the commotion started happening. They give the Apple employees a lot of credit for moving them along. They moved them very quickly into a storage room where they said people went in in a very orderly fashion, but it was very scary, very nerve-wracking. They really didn't know what was going on, but of course everyone had their cell phones and things were blowing up on social media. Family members knew that they were in the South Shore Plaza and they were trying to reach them to make sure that they were okay. But they said it took about 20 minutes or so and and then a security came in and escorted them out of the mall. A great relief to be outside and to walk away from this situation. So people are trying to drive away. People are trying to walk away. And police are trying to keep things very orderly here to keep people moving along until this suspect is in custody. A suspect who apparently has fled into a neighborhood somewhere along here or fled through some streets near the mall. And police are setting up a perimeter around the mall to try to stop that individual. Lisa? Beth, thank you. Can, did you get a sense, Beth, whether how many people are still in the mall? We understand those people from the Apple Store were lucky you know, enough to get out. Yes, Lisa. It's hard to know from where we're standing. You can look down and you can see sort of people still congregating outside who've been able to get out or have been escorted out. Uh, based on the number of cars that are starting to diminish here, I would say a lot of people have left, but it's unclear to me right now how many people are still inside the mall. Beth, how tough was it for you to get to the scene? Police have been warning people to stay away from that area, Granite Street and Braintree. Yeah, one exit on the highway was closed. We came in a different exit, and I'd say we were one of the last or so cars to come into this area. If we were to leave now, we wouldn't be able to get back in. They've really, you can't get beyond the mall in this direction here. They're guiding people uh, down toward uh, Route 95, and uh, it's hard to get in here now. They really have this area blocked off and a perimeter completely set up here. All right, Beth Germano reporting live from Braintree. And Beth and Christina both talked about the fear that these witnesses experienced. We have a little bit more sound from one of the people who was inside the mall when the shooting started. Sure, I'm in Macy's looking at men's clothing. It's my partner's birthday on uh, next week. And so I was doing some birthday shopping. It was my first time in a mall since COVID. Um, and then, you know, I had walked, I parked on the other side of the mall. So I walked through the mall, went to Macy's, shopping in the men's clothing section. Uh, which is right kind of at the front where the um, near the front on the downstairs where it pours and where the mall you know, where it opens up into the mall and so you see so I just looked up from the rack and just saw people start running from the mall into Macy's um, and then more people and then someone who was running it was yelling someone's shooting and um, then you just turn around and run and so you know, I, got, I ran with this dad who was running with his kid who just said, let's go this way, we're going this way, we're going this way. You know, everyone's just panicked trying to figure out how to get out of the mall and what's happening and, um, and what's going on. You were listening to Wes Ritchie. He was inside South Shore Plaza when this happened. You can imagine how terrifying that scene was. We do want to tell you that Braintree police just tweeted a few moments ago, suspects in the area believed to have fled the mall on foot. Neighborhoods surrounding the plaza are urged to shelter in place and call police if there is suspicious activity. So